Hi there. So this is about how you can import your uh, all the emails that are there in your ITK webmail to your Gmail account once you have graduated. So for that, first of all, open up your Gmail account and then log on to your Gmail. Then uh, you just go to your settings right here and then see all settings. Then uh, you will go to the option accounts and imports there you will see an option uh, import mail and account contacts there is an option import mail and contacts click on that here uh, you will have to sign in to your itk mail so type in your itk mail id uh, then click continue Now type in your password, you pop username, uh, here uh, you don't have to type in mail.itk.ac.in, instead you have to type in qasid.itk.ac.in, alright, now uh, leave the port as 110, click continue, uh, alright. Then here are a few options that I would like you to see. Uh, well, first one is import mail, which will import your mails from your ITK mail to your Gmail. Next one is a leave a copy of retrieved messages on the server. Uh, if you click on this option, then uh, your original messages will be retrieved on your ITK webmail and ITK mail. Uh, if you untick this, then all the original messages which are retrieved from that account will be deleted and then they will be transferred to your Gmail account. Sec uh, third option is archive incoming messages skip the inbox so uh, if you untick it your all the messages will be right in your inbox just like they are in your webmail uh, but if you untick uh, if you take this then all your messages will be archived and they won't appear up in the inbox they will appear in the archive section of your gmail then there is option of add label to all imported mail so you can add a label that you have taken these mails from itk webmail or something so you can maybe put up your itk mail id as your label or you can change it to something like itk or itk webmail itk mail or so uh, once you have done with all those things uh, i want to leave a copy of the native messages on the server and i want to archive incoming messages so i am clicking on archive uh, once you're done with them you have to click on start import uh, now the step 3 which is finished your messages are being imported and it may take about several hours maybe sometimes two days or so to see all of your important messages so you can now safely close this window uh, and you can check the progress here so if you see the refreshed page here you will see a new option which is check mail from other accounts there you will see your itk mail id and option of checking mail so it will keep on loading and refreshing and all your uh, mails will finally be transferred or copied to your gmail account from your itk webmail so that's how you transfer your mails from your itk webmail to your gmail account there's another way by which you can save your all the inboxes uh, from the new webmail uh, that is by saving them on your local copy instead of transferring to some other account so that is the way you just click on one mail and you select all the mails you can press ctrl a for it or select it by clicking on selecting all mails once you're done with that you have to go on more then there is an option to download and here you have to click on mbox format dot zip so mbox format downloads all your mails with all of its contents in a zip file and there is another option also that is made dire format.zip so it just downloads the directories that is the mail ids from where you have got the mail what are the c what were who were in the cc who were in bcc and other things uh, and what was the basic title of the mail that you've got uh, but uh, if you want a full mail so you need to download this mbox format in zip so you can download this mbox format once you click on that 
uh, it will start downloading 